They're setting about saving energy at Phil Beach Farmhouse in the Pembrokeshire Coast National Park. Solar panels are being installed on the roof. And in a field nearby, more than half a mile of piping has been buried to harness natural heat from under the ground. The black pipes that you can see behind me, these are the ground source heat pump pipes which will supply the energy for all the underfloor heating in the house. So we've got four trenches across this field which are about a metre deep and this big black pipe that um, will be taking it up to the house. The solar panels are now installed in the roof, the pipe work is still to be connected but that's very exciting and that will heat the hot water for the house. The farmhouse near Marlowe's is around 500 years old. But that's no barrier to the very latest technology being fitted, which should slash energy bills. Although this is an old building, there are a variety of energy-saving measures used here that could be used on any building, ancient or modern. Among the measures used here are a ground source heat pump, the use of hemp plaster, natural insulation underneath the floors and in the attic, and these measures cumulatively could save up to 50% on the energy bills. There are still some ideas that are vetoed by conservationists. So double glazing is a no-no. We can't fit double glazing in the windows. We want to keep the original Victorian and Georgian proportions of the windows and the fine glazing bars. If you introduce glass with double glazed seals, that thickens up all the proportions and the windows just don't look the same. One of the ways we can counteract the heat loss through the double glazing is by introducing timber shutters internally. Next time. The half million pound renovation is finished. At last, Phil Beach Farmhouse is a home once more.